So the marshmallow challenge is uh, a design exercise that uh, seems trivial, seems almost silly, but has some profound lessons for people working in all kinds of industries. I think actually, especially in the financial industry. And the challenge is this. Teams of four get together to build the tallest freestanding structure out of the following ingredients. 20 sticks of spaghetti, one yard of tape, one yard of string, and a marshmallow. And teams have 18 minutes to mix those all together and create a standing structure with the marshmallow on top. So you think it's simple, but it's actually pretty hard. And the reason it's hard is because it forces people to collaborate quickly to do things that they otherwise have never done before. Sound familiar? And so it is a prototype environment where people really work together and um, uh, or not to try to build this common structure uh, to realize this common vision. Now I've had the chance of working with organizations uh, around the world and have conducted about 150 of these Marshmallow Challenge and there's some uh, deep lessons that emerge from this and some interesting surprises. I've done this with uh, 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 for students, with people who make video games, people who make movies, and even the chief financial officers of the Fortune 50. And what was really surprising is that they cheated an awful lot. It was just astounding. Um, uh, and uh, this is actually even before the crisis. So the the usual pattern that happens is that uh, over the course of 18 minutes, uh, teams organize they, their work. They first spend, spend some time trying to figure out what is the goal. So they develop a vision. And then they spend some time planning. Uh, but what really happens is that uh, some people spend time seeking power. Uh, then they spend, uh, the, the teams of four, sp spend time uh, fastening, assembling, putting these structures together. And if all goes right, uh, at the 17 minute mark, someone takes the marshmallow and tries to gingerly put it on top to get a ta-da moment, right? They stand back and they admire their work. But what usually happens is the weight of the marshmallow causes the entire structure to buckle and collapse. So the ta-da moment turns into an uh-oh moment and the team gets a crisis. So the lesson is uh, one of prototyping about when, about the hidden assumptions that are inside of every project. So uh, the assumption for most people is that the marshmallow is light and fluffy, but in actual fact, with the materials, it's pretty heavy. So every project has an unspoken hidden assumption that can, if prototyped, to be made visible and uh, people will avoid some of the mistakes. Now what's really cool is to compare and contrast different people and different professions to see who does really well and who does not so well. And among the very worst performers are, you might find this surprising, or maybe you won't, uh, is uh, our recent graduates of business school, MBA students. It, it's just, it's uncanny. They um, argue, uh, they uh, uh, get into challenges, they don't produce standing structures, many of them. Uh, they Google, they cell phone. Uh, I've seen actually a fist fight. And, and uh, they produce among the worst structures. Now, among the most consistent uh, uh, high-performing teams are recent graduates of kindergarten. And it's, it's really um, a delightful, happening, uh, surprising result. But it's actually in some ways pretty profound because the challenge is exactly the same. Yet kids perform much better than uh, MBA students. So the question is, why? Why is it that, that children, five and six-year-olds, can outperform the people who will be the leaders of the world economy? Well, I think there's a few reasons. Uh, kids don't have preconceptions about what the structure would look like. They spend none of their time seeking power, so they don't waste their time. But more importantly, what they do is they prototype. They uh, begin with the marshmallow and they start sticking uh, 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 the spaghetti uh, into it. And then it falls over and then they change and they improve and then it falls over and then impr they improve and they build several successive prototypes. So they're actually testing, testing, testing every step of the way uh, as opposed to plan, execute. So the difference between plan, execute, and working, building, prototyping, testing, have a conversation with the real material makes all the difference um, it, it, really in the world. So what's relevant to this is that uh, this exercise, which is easy to do, and by the way, you can go to a website called marshmallowchallenge.com, one word, 
uh, and, uh, and, and run this with your board. It's really fun, it takes about uh, 20, 30 minutes to, to do the whole thing, is it gives teams a common vocabulary. It gives them a common framework of the dynamics of collaboration that we experience every single day. And more importantly, it gives us cues and clues to figure out what are the things that we are not looking at in our business that we should look at, and also ways to begin prototyping. And by prototyping, we mean different types of services, different types of engagements, different types of business models. And by testing prototyping, um, we make short, quick failures uh, that are low cost on our way um, towards creating success. So that's the, the, the benefit of the Marshmallow Challenge, which I, I hope you'll enjoy and I hope you'll try and, um, and I hope you'll learn from it.